So you too, team keep it clean. Hopefully your day is continuing to go great. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for helping make my day better by coming through and leaving how you feel about the video in the video in the comments and stuff. Leaving a like on the video and just supporting the channel. Thank you for doing that because uh, that really helps out a lot and I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Um, so earlier today in the video, uh, we talked about how the Ravens brought in some different guys for a workout. But one of those guys was a uh, former Seahawk, former Bengal, even former Jacksonville Jaguar, uh, Cedric Ogbui. Um, he is an offensive tackle, been around the league for a little minute, former first-round draft pick of the Bengals. Shout out to Andre Smith. Uh, and, and when he was released from the Seahawks, I told you, I was like, man, I just, that's so Raven. That would be so Raven of them to just bring him in. And be like, hey, you a former first round pick. Can we squeeze that first round draft status out of you? Can we bring you back to the reason why you a first round draft pick? But no, nah, I just felt like the Ravens would be interested in him. Uh, and then, like I said, my ex expectation was that they would end up signing him after they brought him in for a workout. And then, boom, a couple hours later, they end up signing him to the practice squad. And let's, let's just read the uh, official report directly from Mike Garofalo. He says... The Ravens are signing veteran offensive tackle Cedric Ogbui to their practice squad uh, with the expectation he'll be elevated to the active roster soon, sources say. Uh, so with that, he's saying that he's on the practice squad right now, so he will either be uh, put right on the active roster or they'll do their thing where they do their call-ups because they don't, they don't have to put him directly on the active roster right away. Even if, he, even if they plan to play him. They wouldn't have to put them on the active roster right away because they have the two call-ups. When somebody's on a practice squad, they got the two call-ups that they can do before they either have to be elevated to the active roster after those two call-ups or they have to be uh, released from the practice squad and, and they have to clear waivers and then they can go back on the practice squad. So anyway, Ravens have some options with what they do with him. Um, and he said Baltimore is on a bye this week, but starting right tackle Patrick McCarry suffered a high ankle sprain on Sunday. And yes. Uh, Patrick McCarry was added to the long list of injured players for the Ravens. Uh, and it, it just, it is what it is at this point. Um, it's a big blow for him. And especially with Patrick McCarry, I just feel for him because he, his career, like I would call him the ultimate fill-in. And that's not a shot at Patrick McCarry at all. It's just more uh, commendation because the the reason I say that's uh, that that's commending him is because Patrick McCarry, undrafted rookie free agent in uh 2000 what 19 Ravens they playing out of their mind they scoring all these points they blowing all these teams out and these good teams too by the way and then all of a sudden it's Monday Night Football everybody's watching Ravens playing against the Rams their offensive line been doing their thing even though I do feel like their offensive line was a tad bit overrated but they were a lot better than what we're dealing with right now and what we've been dealing with for the past two years but anyway they're playing Monday Night Football against the Rams you know that's you know Aaron Donald I mean I'm, I'm sure y'all are familiar a little bit familiar with Aaron Donald and they're starting center Matt Squirrel goes down he's out so now what are Ravens gonna do they got this guy Patrick McCurry but he never played center ever what does he do? He, he comes in, plays center, and it's like a seamless transition from Matt Skura to Patrick McCarthy. You would think that Matt Skura actually put on a, a number 65 jersey and just went right back to work because it was so smooth and it was like, man, is Matt Skura, is he even missing? I thought he was still playing because the offensive line still continued to do their thing and Patrick McCarthy filled in very well. And then last year, of course, with the injuries on the offensive line, he said, Patrick McCarthy, can you play this? Uh, Patrick McCarthy, can you play that? Uh, Patrick McCarthy, we need you here. We need you there. So he had to fill in again. And then this year, Patrick McCarthy wasn't a starter. like, okay, we got him on reserve. Cool, nice depth. Tyree Phillips, we got him on reserve. Cool, nice depth. But then those guys end up being thrust into the starting lineup. When Ronnie Stanley, of course, went down, then they're like, oh, Patrick McCarthy, he's going to be all right tackle. And I was like, ooh, I don't know. But he was the ultimate filling, and he's done a phenomenal job filling in. So I just feel for Patrick McCarthy because just the hand that he was dealt in this whole thing, is it just sucks, man. Injuries are all, what I always say is the worst part about football. Um, but now with them signing uh, Cedric Ogbui, uh that gives them somebody with some experience and another spot on the practice. I feel like Ravens got like, 
I, I think it's supposed to be 16 people on the practice squad. I feel like we talk about Ravens signing somebody to the practice squad like every week. Uh, and I feel like they got like 33 people on the practice squad right now, man. Because they always added somebody to the practice squad. I don't know how many people they got on there right now. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, he is not going to come in and be a starter. Even though I know Mike Garofalo said the expectation is that he gets on the active roster soon. And that could be that. Uh, but he's not going to come in and be a starter. That's Tyree Phillips is the right tackle. Until further notice. But Tyree Phillips is the right tackle. And even when Patrick McCarry comes back, depending on how things are going, I think just so much just depends on how everybody's performing at that time. Because say, for instance, this offensive line is doing great. They just killing it. They blocking everybody. They creating running lanes and all that. Do you say, all right, Patrick, hey, you up, you back. Or do you just leave it like it is? If it ain't broke, I say, if, it ain't, if you can't fix what's not broken. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we'll see what happens. And hopefully that's the case when Patrick McCarty comes back. Hopefully we can have that conversation. Hopefully it's a hard conversation that they got to have with Patrick McCarty. Hopefully. Because that will mean that things are going well. And that's what we want. But anyway, um, just looking at uh, his experience. and it's, I mean, you can't really tell from a stat sheet. And I've heard mixed reviews about Cedric's play. So I guess it's going to be one of those things where we just, if he does end up playing... We just had to see for ourselves when that time, when and if that time comes. Um, so 2015, he didn't start, but he played in five games for the Bengals. Again, first round draft pick. Uh, 2016, he played right tackle and he started 12 games. He played in 14. Uh, 2017, he played left tackle. He started 13 games, um, played in 14. 2018, um, he was only in two games. Uh, and in 2000, and then 2019, he went to Jacksonville for a year, played in 14 games, but he didn't start any. Then with the Seahawks, he started in 2020, he started four games, played in eight. And then this year he started one game. He played in one game, but he started just one game. And I'm not sure exactly what happened, why they released him, but that's that. Now he is a Baltimore Raven. So welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Uh, I know Ravens fans are um, feeling, I mean, uh, feeling a little burned by uh, Brandon Knight. Uh, but again, if he got to deal with his mental, let him deal with his mental. That's way more important than football. So shout out to him again for addressing that. Uh, but now they got somebody who is essentially his replacement. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not even his replacement because with Brandon Knight, he was going directly to the active roster. But with Cedric, he's going to the practice squad. So that gives Ravens a little more uh, roster flexibility. So it's just, oh, boy, this thing has just been up and down and all over the place. Just the way the Ravens have had to maneuver this roster uh, from start to week seven to what it is now. Um, it's been uh, just a lot. There's been a lot of people that came and a lot of people that went, and, and it's going to be more to come. So we'll see how this thing works itself out. Congrats to Cedric for becoming a Baltimore Raven. Again, hey, welcome to the flock, man. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hopefully Patrick McCarry with his ankle sprain, because a high ankle sprain, that could be anywhere from like five or six weeks. Sometimes it could be eight and nine weeks. It could be a little minute, man. Uh, but I do expect him, I expect the announcement, I think it's probably going to come tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Usually when, when a reporter reports something about the Ravens, usually the Ravens end up announcing it the following day. So I expect tomorrow for the Ravens to announce this signing of Cedric Ogbui to their practice squad. And also I expect tomorrow for the Ravens to announce that they put Patrick McCarry on injured reserve. And again, hopefully a short-term injury reserve and because it's not going to be for the year. Now with a high ankle sprain, not at this point in the season, especially with it being a longer season. Um, but yeah, I, I expect them to make some announcements tomorrow. So we'll see how this thing goes. I love y'all. Y'all keep your heads up with whatever you're going through. Just keep pushing because it, it'll get better. Trust me. We out.